And we are back once again here at Empire's Comics Vault, the site of the ultimate free comic book day experience for anyone and everyone in the Sacramento area. We are going to have local creators. We're going to have food trucks. We're going to have professional wrestling. Probably have, I think there's balloon animals and face painters as well. Like it's like, a, it's fun for the whole family. But we're also going to have Dan, Dan Bethel, comic book creator extraordinaire. Whoa. Okay. Sure. I mean, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll edit that out. I'll, no, no, no. Comic no. book creator moderately <laughs> so that's about right so dan thank you for coming on no problem at all so first off you are the creator of long john yes i am so it is is it a solo book are you the only one behind it i am cool so you, you're writing yep. you're drawing yep you're inking yep everything yep so give me a rundown quickly of well and you don't have to go quickly as long as you need to this okay. rundown of the story uh the story of long john is that it's uh it's, it's a western nice about a cowboy who uh gets his clothes stolen that's it in a nutshell. But what it ultimately becomes is a uh, a mystery of why, okay. who, yeah. how, and uh, to just put a little like sort of literary spin on it is that it's also about him redefining who he is okay. when all those things that used to protect himself right. are taken taken away. Uh, okay. Hence the tagline: "Losing everything changes everything." Dig it. Right. That's fantastic. So now you have two issues out currently, two right. two volumes, correct? Indeed. Yeah. And then the third volume yeah. is debuting. At Free Comic Book Day. Absolutely. This is the first time anyone's going to be able to, yes. to grab it? Absolutely. So now you, you've you had all your stuff here at Empires for a while, correct? Yes. Cool. How long have you been involved with Empires, whether as a patron or Free Comic Book Day? How long have you been coming here? Uh, well, I'm, probably shortly after I moved here, back in 2008, wow, okay. um, it was, I, I sampled other comic book shops, but Empires, back at the old location, was sort of the, the warmest. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. Which is uh, not a joke about the fact that there was a fire that made him <laughs> <laughs> No, it was warm before the fire. Yeah. Maybe the cause. Yeah. No. Interesting. <laughs> no, no, no. No, we don't point fingers. Mm -mm. But uh, um, in terms of being a creator, I have been involved in a lot of his free comic book day festivities going back years, uh, starting with my previous comic that I did uh, called Evan 07. Okay. Uh, that I did with Evan Burgoon. Ah. And uh, was there tape in that one too? He, <laughs> no. he likes tape. He I does just... love tape, but there are plumbing supplies. <laughs> Interesting. That, it's a duct duct tape. No, it's not duct tape that he uses. He uses masking tape, so never mind. But uh, yeah, uh, so we did plenty of events uh, through them. And once we went our separate ways, he went to go do B Squad and I went to go do Long John. That it made sense just to come back here yeah. and he was gracious enough to have me back yeah, and you so. guys have both been really successful yeah. I've, um, I've seen so now long john is available digitally as well correct yes um and where where can we track it down if we wanted to you can check out all things long john related at longjohncomic.com perfect there's yep. everything that we need to so mm -hmm. now you're going to be down here yeah you're going to have the books yes. now are you going to have um any prints or anything as well i have prints oh. i have a couple long john based prints i have a uh, a print i did that's actually a tribute to uh, that I made right after Logan came out. Mm -hmm. um, it's an esoteric little print, but it's nice. Nice. Um, and I'll be selling a sketchbook collection I did. Cool. Uh, is that? Oh, there it is. Look doesn't at that. show up very well because no. of how bright it is in here. Right, right, right. right. It's called Back Matter. There we go. But it's, it's black inside. So Indeed. <laughs> see Indeed. It. But, you know, if you want to get a closer look at it, you can come down here to Free Comic Book Day. Indeed. That's, that's the point. I'm not going to, like, open these up and let you read them one by one. No. you got to come down here. you got to get some free comics. Right. And you got to check out Long John. Indeed. Now, um, is it, are, do you self-publish or do you go, go through an organization? Like, how do, you, how do you make your books be? I self-publish. Okay. Uh, mostly because... Like coming from the Ebeno 07 book that we did, which was a webcomic as well, uh, I, I still follow closely that sort of webcomic ethos where I do put all the, the inside, like the, the narrative content online, longjohncomic.com, um, but also uh, uh, I put extra stuff in the books that aren't published online uh, just to kind of up the ante a little bit. Nice. But I, because of that, I don't necessarily look, as, look at the books as... You know, this is going to be my income. I look at it more as a way to get people to go to the website because there's so much more content there. I'm, a, I'm an English teacher. Nice. I write a lot. And so there's all, all kinds of written content, behind the scenes content that are on the website, uh, as well as writing about comics and movies and stuff right. like that. Just uh, just to get people to go there and see um, kind of everything I do. And just, that just happens to be. Now, do your students home. read your comics? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair enough. No, no, I'm going to. Because you know what I envision? Uh, I envision that student that doesn't get the grade they want, and all of a sudden I have a brand new troll. <laughs> There's all these terrible reviews oh, because yeah. of that. Jeez. I mean, rate my professor's bad enough. <laughs> I don't need that on my website. So now, how, how long have you been working on Long John? How is... We started, 
there's a couple ways to approach that. Uh, the the character I came up with uh, back in like 2001. Oh wow. Okay. Um, the, we don't have to go into it. I like I like it being sort of this weird hazy idea. Uh, he, he came to me in a dream. Nah. Let's just move on. The yeah, best a cowboy with no clothes. The best characters. <laughs> so a naked cowboy came to you in your dreams. Well, he was wearing long johns at the time, but I don't know. That's still whatever. Uh, but I, the, I started making the comic in 2013, and the first it started publishing online in nice. 2014. Okay. So now is with the third volume. Yeah. Is is long john? Is there an end, yes. or is long john going to keep going? It is. There, the, there is a complete story in mind. Good. It'll probably be about between six or seven volumes, nice. depending on how those last two kind of fall together. But yeah, it's it's a finite story. It's not just uh, me engaging in my love for westerns. I mean, that's kind of thing when people come up to the show, uh, come up to the table. They said, "Oh, you must love westerns." I'm like, I mean, sure, sure. Yeah, <laughs> I just had a They're story. Not bad. Yeah, I just had a story to tell that was set here, uh, and you know, the next book I do will be not a western. Nice. Oh, that was going to be my next question. Yeah. Is there is there another book you've got another story yeah. you're working on in mind? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, a couple. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are I you going to do any at the same time, or are you a uh, finish one then do the other? I uh, probably. There's some collaborative ones that I'll probably try to start working on uh, while doing Long John, but uh, uh, mostly it'll be, I have so little time with teaching right. that I need to kind of only do one book at a time or else I will lose my mind. No, you're, tell, you, what, you're telling me that teachers' jobs are difficult? What are you, uh, what is this? I'm not, I'm not making this political, man. <laughs> You are, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I cool. could use more money. My wife is a teacher, so she, I know exactly <laughs> Fair what enough. you're talking about. Uh, uh, so yeah, so you're, you're going to be down here, yes. free comic book day. Absolutely. You're going to be uh, chalking your wares. Indeed, I think that's the industry term. Right, I'm not, I'm not up to date with my chalking skills, but we'll see. <laughs> I can sell them. Well, yeah, we can, I can try to offer them. We but could chalking. Yeah, I mean, you'll probably do better than uh, than Kyron. Um, so. <laughs> so come down here to free comic book day like i said we're gonna have local creators i'm gonna say this again we're gonna have free comics mm -hmm. we're gonna have food trucks right we're gonna have professional wrestling mm -hmm. there is there, there's parking we, we have we have great parking accessibility this year yes. it's you know no 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 tickets no one's gonna get no one's gonna get fined everything's right. going great uh, so why why wouldn't you? Right, but there will be tickets to get free comics. Hey, and there's probably also there's, there's some usually a raffle like uh, an organization like I think West Coast Avengers usually has a raffle oh, nice. of some kinds. This there's, there's always so much fun stuff. Right. So get down here next Saturday for free comic book day. Dan, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much. We'll for have you me. on our main podcast for a full blown episode where we can embarrass you and ask you about pizza toppings and stuff. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I am pro pineapple. Oh well, he's not coming on the show. Never mind. There we go. <laughs>